Uh, Sunday afternoon, football. Just what was the the process of that like, and is it nice that, at least for now, that that's been moved and is kind of set? Yeah, at least for today, you know, I think we all kind of know what the plan is, and, um, you know, I know Rick and, and Terry, their AD, have been working on it the last 48 hours just knowing. I mean, being in the state of Florida the last two years when hurricanes come, you know, you have to prepare like they're going to hit. It does look like they're going to get a ton of rain. It's, I know, um, you know, we're thinking about all the people in the whole state of Florida and especially, you know, in Orlando where it looks like a lot of the remnants of the hurricane once it hits land may go right through there today and tomorrow. So really hoping those guys uh, in the whole state, but at UCF, everybody's safe. But, you know, people have to evacuate. They may lose power. All those things happen. It looks like by, you know, Saturday, Sunday, the weather will be fine. But just to give a little bit of extra time, I think uh, – I think both schools made a good decision. We're excited we get to play the game, as I know they are as of right now, and uh, we kind of know what the schedule is now moving forward. What are your feelings kind of going up against guys and also a defensive coordinator that used to be a Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, like I said, we, we coach against people that um, we've coached with. Um, it's not the first time I've gone against Gus on the other sideline. I did it once as a player. did it once when I was the OC at Sanford. Um, so, you know, I've done it enough in my career. It's not weird. Um, don't like playing friends, don't like playing people I, I care about, but that's part of it. Um, they're going to want to whip us, and we're going to want to beat them. It's a first conference game. Uh, and got a lot of respect for Travis Williams, too. He and I were fortunate enough to win a national title together as well. So, um, But other than that, it's, it's, it's honestly it's the players are going to play the game, and, and we're going to do everything we can to win. Yeah, but Travis, I mean, he's kind of one of the up-and-comers as well. Um, what do you see in his defenses that – you know, stand out to you. I see his DNA and his personality, which is if you're a coordinator, you want your offense or defense to take on your personality. Travis was a great player in 04 at Auburn on that undefeated team in 2004. Um, played in the league for a bit. GA'd with us, has now coached for a while. Actually was on staff with us for a few months at Miami before he got the DC job at Central Florida. And what Travis brings is incredible energy. He has great relationships. I know every player on that defense love him. They're going to play hard for him. And you turn on the film, they play hard. They play fast. They play with emotion. Uh, I mean, they're giving up less than 14 a game. They're not giving up over 20 yet. Number one red zone defense because that's Travis's personality, man. You get down in there, he's a fighter. He's got a lot of passion, and those guys have bought into that. Going into the first conference game, obviously coming off a couple big games, but these that really matter – is there something you do differently that says we were maybe experimenting with a few things in the last couple of weeks and now with conference play, we've got to have those answers? No, they all matter the same. The last two games were big. Uh, we played two really good football games against two really good teams. Uh, you know, they were physical games. We had our chances. Uh, I think we proved we have a really good football team. We've got to win some games. Um, we're beat up, but I expect a lot of those guys to be able to go, but, but we are beat up and we've got to find a way this week to dig deep. Uh, we got a bye week after this. But to go on the road, first conference game, I mean, UCF's team speed is unbelievable. It's, it, I don't know if we'll play a faster team this year. Lord, I can't imagine it because they got guys everywhere on both sides of the ball that can absolutely fly. So, you know, we're going to have to do a good job uh, on defense, you know, containing that and on offense trying to match that and, and on special teams as well. But uh, we aren't doing anything different this week than we've done before. Every game matters just as much. Yes, we're getting into conference. We'd love to get off to a 1-0 start against a team who could easily win the league. Uh, going into our bye week. How do you cut down on, on some of the turnovers that have happened, yeah. whether, you know, for whatever reason they've happened, yep. and, and it just is kind of a trend? Yeah, it's, it's, it's become not good in the last three games, and, or especially the last two games, and it, it really bad times. Uh, and it doesn't matter if it's the quarterback's fault, if the receiver stumbles, it, like the why doesn't matter, it happens. And at some point, it's got to stop happening at the rate that it happens and in the situations it happens. So we coach it constantly. Um, I think we have a quarterback who is playing at a really high level. Um, and, you know, it's hard. You play 90 plays and you play 85 of them really good. And, and five of them, you make mistakes like everybody does in the football field, but yours are magnified. And, and a lot of times those things happen and they don't get go against you. They've just – we've turned it over at really bad times and really bad situations. We coach ball security. That's been pretty good in terms of running with it. But um, we just got to keep playing. We can't um, – you can't make it something more than it is. We know we can't turn the football over multiple times a game in critical spots if we want to win on offense right now. And we know we can't give up explosive plays for touchdowns on defense. And uh, you know, that's what's crazy about the game the other day. I think we won 65% of the reps. Our defense won, like won the down. But those 35% of the reps that we didn't win the down went for big plays or four explosive touchdowns. And you know that was the difference in the game.
with your offense, kind of on that note, it, it seems like inherently you wouldn't want to let turnovers become guns. You still, you still want to stay aggressive even yeah. against the turnovers. Is that fair? Yeah, you have to. Like we all have always, for the last five or six years, and, and candidly, we haven't had a lot of turnovers. This is, um, it's been a little bit unique. And it, it's one of those deals, if I'm watching it and we're throwing it into triple coverage and we're doing a lot of careless things with it, I would feel different. Uh, we are a little snake bit. I mean, Tanner threw it late in the red zone on the first one the other day. That's on him. He threw it late and behind him. That's going to get picked. Um, but we're not being careless, per se, with the ball. You know, you don't see him throwing into coverage a ton and putting it up for grabs a lot. Um, so that's probably the hardest part about fixing it. But we've always told the quarterbacks we want to value the ball. Because if you tell them protect the ball, then you lose your aggressiveness. And it's like, well, I've just got to take care of this. And now, you know, we don't want game managers. We want quarterbacks to go win the game. You have to be able to be aggressive, though, and value the ball at a level that, you know, we haven't been able to do in the critical moments so far. You got a big body back at tight end in Nolan Matthews. How much does he help in the run game, especially? Hopefully. And what do you think of his first game? Yeah, hopefully he'll help. You know, he didn't play as much, just getting him back in the swing of things uh, physically and from a conditioning standpoint. Um, you know, with those guys, got to keep coming at tight end. We got to keep developing those guys in the run game. I think you see what RJ's given us in the passing game, and, and some of the other guys are making plays too. But I thought Nolan did fine, and hopefully, as he kind of gets his legs under him, he'll he'll add some value there. Good to, good to have Bo back, and then obviously have another injury that kind of definitely scared, that seemed to scare some people, some fans. I mean, not fans, some players. Good to have Bo back. Yes. <laughs> Which injury are you talking about? The, the, the shoulder one in, in fall. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was good. So we got Bo cleared like on Thursday or Friday. We actually thought UCF would be when we'd get him back. He got cleared late last week, and really we weren't planning to play him a lot because he had just gotten cleared and only practiced a few days. Um, but with Curly being out, uh, Rasheed getting hurt in the first quarter uh, and playing banged up and just the depth positions and those guys were playing too much, we know we got to get more wideouts in there uh, throughout the course of the game. We just felt like he wanted to go, so we put him in there, and he made some big catches. And I think that was good for him to get back in there. And uh, he obviously gives us some some things on the outside. And how much does that maybe help Tanner? You know, you say you aren't forcing it to Rasheed, but he's the one making the plays. Mm -hmm. When you get a game like that from Jake, yeah. who shows he can make plays. When you get a, a veteran guy like yeah. Bo back, who can make plays, to just be able to distribute maybe even a yeah. little better than, than he yeah. has been. Yeah, well, I think, I think you saw it. I mean, look, um, y'all been asking that question. It's a fair question. But now, you know, we've Jake was out banged up. Bo's been out banged up. Curly's up and down being banged up. Moochie and Teddy are new, so they're slowly coming along. And so we haven't necessarily always had the full options we thought we would have. We're getting more play out of our tight ends now in the passing game. But you saw it the other day. I mean, Rasheed, it's funny, he only had six catches for 74 and a touchdown. <laughs> now, there was three or four PIs again that, you know, if they don't PI, it's probably well over 100. But in a game where he was banged up, you know, statistically, it was a normal day. You saw what Jake did. You saw other guys like Bo, like you said, Moochie made a big third down catch. Other guys had opportunities. That's what we're going to have to be able to do. And if we do that, they'll all get theirs. And um, so that's what we have to be able to do going forward in conference, stay healthy and let those guys make plays. You, you got Coach Hayden Howerton out here now? Over there. Oh, I didn't even see him here. No, I mean, Hayden's welcome here anytime he wants to be here. He had a play sheet, so I didn't know. Um, no, I, I love Hayden to death. I don't know. I think uh, – but I don't know if he's coaching with us yet. <laughs> Is there a glass half full element to having two really, really close games and knowing that you're going into conference, I guess, maybe a little bit learn, learn more about yeah. yourself? Yeah, other than the fact that, look, the, any t you want – when you guys work hard and they play well and they play hard, you want them to get the reward for it with a win. And, you know – Back-to-back -back losses, anyone's human, that can just kind of, you know, it's a little bit of a damper. But we're playing well. It's not like we're going out and getting blown out. We're being sloppy. We're playing good football against good football teams. Um, we put ourselves in position to win them. In the first game, didn't. The second one, we got in a hole, climbed back. And so I think, you know, I don't know about silver linings when you lose, but we're playing good football. We're playing good football teams. We're competing with anybody we play with. And our guys believe not only do we know we belong, but we can win. And um, so I think there's a lot to be said for that, especially getting into our league, which is going to be good. Every game's going to be a one-score game, just like it's been the last two weeks. Um, so we just got to find a way to get over the hump and win one of those. Um, but I have just as much confidence in our team now as I did before we went to Maryland. Uh, we are beat up. You know, I think this is the first time since 2018 that we've had two opponents like that in the non-conference that before we get into conference. And so, um, you know, we got to find a way to go on the road Sunday and play really well, find a way to get a win. I think we'll heal up and, and we got a chance to make a run.